All right. In this video, we are going to write the factored form of the polynomial shown in this graph. And the first step is to identify the x-intercepts. We have an x-intercept here at negative 2. We have an x-intercept here at 0. And we have an x-intercept here at 3. Now, each of these can be turned into a factor. x uh, equals negative 2 would come from a factor of x plus 2. Imagine setting this equal to 0 and solving. You would get negative 2. Um, this 0 would come from a factor of simply x. If I set x equal to 0 and solved, I would just get x equals 0. And 3 would come from a factor of x minus 3. If I set this equal to 0, it would give me 3. So these are the factors. Now, let's pay attention to whether or not these should be squared or cubed. And uh, when I talk about that, I'm thinking of this information. Um, if a graph passes right through the x-intercept, then that's a single factor. If the graph bounces at the x-intercept, that's a double factor. If it seems to flatten out and then continue through, that's called an inflection. And that means we have a triple factor. So in all three cases, the graph just passes straight through. There's no bounce. There's no inflection. That means this basically is the answer right here. Um, you know, the order doesn't matter. But sometimes there will be a negative sign in front. So we just have to figure out if this is one of those times. So we need to think about the end behavior. Um, hopefully you know that this is the graph of an odd degree function. Um, let's see. We're talking about end behavior. If the degree is even, either both arms are up, which means positive leading coefficient, or both arms are down, that's negative. Clearly that's not what's happening here because um, in our graph here we have one arm up and one arm down. So that's the kind of graph you have when you are talking about an odd degree function. You know, you have, you have the arms going in different directions. Um, but when you have the positive version, it sort of reminds me of a capital letter N um, with one arm down and the other arm up. When it is backwards with um, one arm up and the other arm down, that's the negative version. So hopefully you can see that this is that backwards one I was just talking about. Okay, this is sort of like a backwards N. Um, so that's the one that is negative. So I will need a negative in front of this. So let's hunt for this answer among these choices. The, remember, the order may be a bit different. Um, you know it needs to have a negative in front. So that eliminates A and B. It can't be either of those. This one doesn't have an extra X on it. You know, we need that extra X so it can't be D. So that means the answer must be C. So it's got the negative, it's got the x minus 3, it's got the x plus 2, and it's got the extra x. So the answer is C.